What's up nerds, welcome back to the channel. We've got a Tackle Warehouse unboxing today and uh, not just anyone, there's a couple like good fall baits in here. There's some trailers, some paddle tails, some like swimmy stuff, but there's also a whole bunch of different poop baits. If you saw one of our recent fishing videos, you saw that we went out with the Depths Cover Scat. Now Depths Cover Scat is like the OG poop bait, gravity bait, heavy bait, whatever you want to call it. And it's one that we've had sitting here in our tackle supply for years and we never used. So I decided to go out and fish it for the first time ever and I had a freaking blast. Now that was the four inch variety. A lot of these different brands now have like a 2.5, 3, 3.5 inch, which I feel might even be a better fit, especially since we mostly fish here in Michigan. And I'm excited to try some of these out. Now there's a ton of different brands on the market. And after seeing some of those displayed at iCast, seeing some of those in recent videos from the likes of like Tactical Bass, and we decided to pick some up ourselves as well. Cause I'd really love to see these head to head on the water. And being that we don't work with a single one of these companies, I'd love to see if we can give an unbiased review on them. So we'll do a first looks review here in this video, plus some bonus stuff that I bought from Tackle Warehouse. And then we're gonna go out and we're gonna fish them. So let's get right into it. There's some things in here. And don't worry, I got the prices and stuff. Just so you guys know, the prices I give you on most of these baits is gonna be skewed a little bit because I picked them up on a sale. So Tackle Warehouse was doing a 15% off fall fishing sale at the time that I purchased these. I don't think they're doing it right now. If they are, neat, go check it out. You let me know if you, you know, caught the sale or not in the comments below. I just wanted to let you know in case some of these prices seem skewed. It means they're 15% more expensive than what I'm telling you right now. So keep that in mind as we go through everything today. Before we get to the gravity poop baits, I want to first talk about some of the other stuff that I purchased. Got a whole bunch of fall selects here, if you will, things that uh, I believe catch a heck ton of fish in the fall. Really excited for some of these, especially as the water gets colder. Uh, I have an insane amount of confidence in tail spins. If you guys haven't fished these before, it's typically like a heavy metal bait, kind of like a blade bait, and you've got one treble on there, and then you've usually got a Colorado or a willow blade trailing behind that. Bunch of different brands make these. You can, there's a whole category that you can find them on on tacklewarehouse.com if you guys wanna go check that out. And starting last year, I really got like an insane amount of confidence in these lures in particular because I was catching a ton of fish on them. Now, the only one that I've used so far has been the Fish Lab Biospin, which comes from Fish Lab related to Akuma. So it's something that we got a bunch of by working with Akuma. So I wanna try some different brands and see what else is out there. So Paul had this one already and I wanted some. So we got the Molex Trago in both blade variations. And then we got the more economic option, which is the Savage Gear. So let's take a look at these things. So the Molex variety is kind of expensive. These are eight and 850 respectively. Um, I don't know why the difference between the two, but whatever. Some of these come in like, uh, I have a six cents gyro that comes in three quarters of an ounce. Sometimes you can get them in one ounce. The fish labs that we fished last year were three quarters of an ounce. I wanted something that's like a little more all around and that I didn't have to like burn back at an eight speed or a 10 speed reel, like a Revo Beast or something. Something I could just like swim around, have some fun with, but check it out. So we got the metal body bait, this is that Molex Trago. It's got this nice flat lip there, which is pretty neat. And a big old Colorado blade in gold coming off the back. Nice thing about this is I can tell it's got HD materials going on. We got this little HD spinner here, which is awesome. And then we've got a seemingly appropriately sized treble. Nice, kind of like finesse -y. And I like how they've got the spot built in there for that split ring. It's all around pretty heavy duty. Looks like good components. You can even see on the front lip there, it says Trago with the half ounce. So you know, if you have a bunch of these in a box, which one's which. Super helpful. Good looking bait in that bluegill, holographic bluegill color, come on. This next one is more similar to the fish labs that I've had. Those all had the willow blade. So we got a willow blade coming off the back of this one. Comes in this glow color which is interesting, could give you like a different look in the water. Same HD parts, all the same kind of build, half ounce as well. No, I went lighter with this one. This is three eighths of an ounce. So a little bit lighter than that one. I like with the Colorado blade, you can actually slow these down a little bit more, even with a heavier weight. That Colorado blade has more water resistance. 
than the willow blade does this is going to be something i can like burn around cover really well and you know it'll be higher up in the water column unless i do a little countdown let it drop a little bit lower and i can burn it really anywhere i want and that willow blade in silver is going to give off some big flash i like it i know it's like a glow color and that's cool and everything ultimately i just got it because it's like white right? Like a white, a pearl color is always something great to throw this time of year. And if you're not throwing white or pearl, throw a bluegill or a perch or some sort of like shad bream color, something natural, also a great option. So those are in the $8 plus range. Let's look at this Savage Gear, which actually came in at $5.93. Gosh dang it. This is called the Fat Tail Spin. It's a little bigger bodied than these other two. It is three quarters of an ounce. So I, I guess I got one in like each of the standard weights here. So a little bigger. I went for gold on this one and that three quarter ounce, another fantastic option for the fall. You can already tell that it has a little bit cheaper components. We don't get the split ring on top. Then we got our HD swivel back here and this little like shrink wrap over the components. Interesting. You have like kind of a cheaper feeling blade that is also hammered and in gold, which is neat. So I think it's going to have a little different action. Still a Colorado blade, but having that hammered blade instead of uh, the, the standard smooth Colorado is going to be interesting. All around, looks great. Probably going to get bit. Probably going to catch something giant. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Oh, and it comes with a very tiny sticker. <laughs> oh, Savage Gear, you silly gooses. Tail spins are way up there on my fall fishing list, especially late fall. Early fall, you can throw them right now and you can catch fish. I'm probably throwing like my double bladed spinners and my chatter baits more than these right now. But as soon as those water temps drop down closer to 60 and below 60, these things bang right alongside blade baits. Other than that, I got a bunch of swimmy stuff. So we got some paddle tails and some trailers here. I saw these and I was like, you know what? These look like a micro version of the trash fish, which we have gigantic ones of. If you haven't seen them, they're pretty rad. It's actually the same exact body design as the trash fish. So this is the Skeet Reese Sick Fish. It's a three incher, three inches. It's itty bitty, check it out but it has the same like little trash fish tail. It's this heavy duty tail and it's got a good, like this little top fin here helps it track. So it actually gives you really good kicking action for this little tiny package with the uh, sexy shad color, just like just good all around natural option. Tons of balancing fins here, so it should swim pretty straight. They recommend what would have to be a very small, like a two watt weighted swim bait hook. So I might, pick up a few of those, throw it on that. Otherwise I'm throwing it on like a, just a finesse hook, maybe BFS this thing, but you can also just throw it on a chatter bait, spinner bait, uh, just a swim bait, jig head, whatever. I got tons of options with this thing. It just looked like a neat bait, something I haven't tried before. And as a BFS uh, wannabe, I was like, you know what? Let's try this thing out. Let's see if we can figure out a rigging setup. That'll be a lot of fun on BFS. It was five bucks for a five count. So not cheap, not insanely expensive, but a, a dollar of plastic for how unique the plastics are. I think it's pretty fair. I'm excited for it. You want to know what's definitely not cheap? A whole bunch of Gary Yamamoto baits, uh, but these just happen to be like my favorite trailer of all time. These are the Zaccos and I got the standard size, four inches, but then I found that they had this finesse size, the three incher. So I picked it up in my favorite color, which is green pumpkin and white or green pumpkin pearl. They call it white, green pumpkin with black, white. So black flake and white, right, laminate. So we got green pumpkin on top with black flake and then we got the white up on the bottom. Look at this little guy, oh no. I'm calling BS right now. What the heck is this nonsense? This is out of the bag. Real cool, Yamamoto. So uh, yeah, brand new, just opened the bag and we already have a ripped tail. So that's some BS right there. Okay, so here's how it's supposed to look. Jeez, <laughs> so we have a little super finesse. Look at that, tiny, tiny size. I mean, I'm sure, absolutely certain I can make this work, but we're gonna go ahead and say, what the heck, quality control. What I do like, when they're not broken out of the bag, is that the Zaccos have this nice little segmented section down here to an inline tail. So rather than a boot tail, paddle tail, something that has a little more heavy kick to it, this thing's nice and subtle. Uh, this size in particular would be great on a Chatterbait Mini Max, or if you're throwing this on the Stealth Blades, uh, just anything but like your half ounce plus Chatterbaits. I think you're gonna have a blast with this. So I got this particularly 
for BFS applications, as well as just lighter quarter ounce, three eighths uh, type chatter baits, and especially the Mini Max in a three eighths, which is one of my favorite fall chatter baits, by the way. Mini Max is legit. And then we got the four inch Zacco, just two different colors here. I'll show you real quick. If y'all are not throwing chartreuse, if you're not throwing chartreuse in white, you are missing out. So I got a chartreuse and white color combo there. I'm pretty stoked about. Got a little flashy flake in there. What is that? So they just call it the chartreuse shad laminate. Um, but yeah, you got the, the white. There's a little bit of flake in there that you can see as well. And the chartreuse. It's gonna be killer. Obviously a great trailer for your chartreuse in white or like your brighter chatter baits. That'll go really well with that. And then this color, I must have slept on this color for so long and am stupid for having done so. But this is electric shad. Basically every brand makes this color. Look at this. It's like a translucent, dark upper, clear bottom uh, laminate color. And then you've got that super flashy flake. Look at that. This color gets bit straight up. Don't care how you have it, like whatever plastic you want on whatever type of lure or wire bait you want, it gets bit, get electric shad. It's great. So there's all the regular fishing stuff. Let's get to those heavy gravity baits. Got a whole bunch of different brands here. So we got Yamamoto, we got Depths, we got Spro, we got G-Crack, we got Fish Arrow, which is like the most blatantly poop oriented bait. Uh, <laughs> We also have the Missile Baits Bomba, which is brand new, just dropped, and is currently in the mail. So after I review all of these, and then I can show you the Bomba, and then, like I said, we're gonna go fish these in a separate video. So first up, we'll start with the OG. We'll start with the depths. In this exact color, in a four inch model, this is the 3.5, is the first heavy bait, gravity bait, that I have thrown. My gosh. Why did I wait so long? Because it absolutely crushed them. I caught so many fish and a lot of really big fish on this. Now it does smell like, uh, like a sweaty, wet toilet paper. This is probably the smelliest. It's like, it's, I don't know, a hint of chlorine even. It's so weird. It's like a, a swampy just smell. I don't know. Whatever, Th these stink the most out of all of the baits and I've already checked the rest of them. So uh, this is the Depths Cover Scat and it looks like this. Now I got this in Green Pumpkin Pro Blue, which is like this bluish purplish color up top. So you got a laminate split colorway. Now the cool thing about this, it's designed for a Texas rigging weightless. So you take your EWG, highly recommended. You're gonna punch through the top, you come out of this hole right here, and then you go right back through this hook section here and on the top, you're gonna see this little knob there. That is to expose the hook. So you put the hook right back into that. Now this size versus the four inch model that I was using, uh, we're probably looking at a three to a four aught hook. It doesn't say on the bag, but I'll just go ahead and say, yeah, I could probably get away with a four aught on this and be good. You're gonna wanna use the right size hook because these are not super durable. They fall apart. Uh, I had five of these, there's six in this pack. So I only had five with me out on the water and I blew through them pretty darn quick, probably on about, I ended up catching about seven, eight fish and went through four of the five baits, just chewed up, broken off, or destroyed, whatever. So they're not hyper durable, but they do catch fish. They're also pretty heavy. You rig it weightless, you can still bomb this thing out there. You can cast as far as you want. You can fish it a lot of different ways. You can look for different types of cover or structure. That's what I was doing. I was hucking it into the pads. Anywhere that I saw pads and there was a couple feet of water underneath, I knew fish were in there. So I'd huck it out on the pads and it has this like horizontal sinking action, kind of like this. It's really heavy, so it sinks pretty quick actually. And I would let it just plop big splash in the pads. It would just drift on down to the bottom and I was getting hit within a few seconds. So that's how I fished it. There's a lot of different other ways to fish it. And you can fish it deeper because it's so heavy and it sinks so fast. So it gives you a weightless application in deeper water, which is cool. Again, our goal here is I wanna see how each of these different plastics is like different. And I, ideally I'd love to see if like fish are attracted to one more than the other. Now I did try different colors cause I wanna see how they look. So, you know, don't fault me on that. It's not exactly apples and apples, but it's not apples and oranges. Next up, let's do old Yami Yamamoto here. We got a 3.5 Yama Tanuki, which reminds me of Super Mario Bros. 3, the Tanuki suit, uh, because it's got this little tail. Look at that. So we got this heavy stick bait here with this tail giving us a little added action, which I think is neat. These are hefty. It is, again, very hefty bait. Again, pretty obvious rigging section, big flat section up there. 
little hook section in there, and you can hide your hook on the other end there. For this one, I went with Sexy Shad. So you got that green flake, kind of pro blue to this opaque, clearish, opaque-ish, whatever bottom area. Your classic Sexy Shad plastic. Pretty neat looking bait. Probably go over the prices of these too, eh? Now, Depths is one of the most expensive gravity baits, coming in at $9.34 for six of them. Ugh! So that's pretty expensive. Some of these other baits, are a lot cheaper and we're gonna determine if they're as good as the depths. If they still get bit, maybe it's better as an economic option. This Yamamoto comes with eight instead of the six that you got with the depths, it's only $6.79. So this is already way cheaper compared to the depths. Gives it a big thumbs up in my book, more affordable, especially if I wanna throw a bunch of these around and especially if they fall apart. The most expensive one in the bunch by one penny, $9.35 was the Fish Arrow Heavy Poop. Uh, obviously, this is the most intriguing one because they just straight up called it what it is, heavy poop. <laughs> it's 18 grams per, you get six pieces in there, 9.35, good grief, I'm scared. Okay, it just smells like plastic. Yeah, this one actually has no scent. Interesting, no scent. Heavyweight material, that's all it says. I have nothing else unless I use my Google interpretation. Well, anyways, I got it in green pumpkin shark because it's one of my favorite color combos. Look at this. So this one has a very interesting shape. Uh, first of all, middle looks like a football. There we go, we got the football look to it. And then the back end is kind of, I mean, it, it resembles like a craw, right? Kind of, and also obviously a turd, but like this looks like two craw claws like together. Like if a craw was just swimming along the bottom, maybe, I don't know. Uh, nice chartreuse laminate to it and good hook suppository, hook section down there. So we're just gonna take our hook, rig through the flat section here, come out and we'll Texas rig coming back in through here, which will then plug into these little ridges up top for Texposing. So another really great weedless option. These are hefty. They, they, these are heavy plastics, which is weird because you get so used to most of your typical like worms and paddle tail uh, bass fishing plastics that don't weigh much at all. And then you pick up one of these and you're like, what? What is going on? This category still baffles me, uh, but I kind of dig it. <laughs> Next up was a brand new one to the market. We saw these at iCast this year. This one's from Spro. Uh, per, per bait, this might be the most expensive one, actually. I, I, I might have to take back or retract a previous statement. The Craw Nugget is $5.52 for a four pack. Four of them. That's it, that's all you get, four of them, 5.52. So, so it's a dollar and 38 cents per bait in this. And if we look at like the heavy poop, which is the next most expensive, right? So 9.35 divided by six. So the heavy poop and the depths are around a buck 50 a piece. The Spro is around a buck 38, buck 40 a piece. So very close to the most expensive. It's right up there. Now this comes with their amino bite, which is a very shrimpy, shrimpy smell and these are a little bit different from the rest because they more closely resemble a craw and they also have these like little fins on the back which are supposed to be like stabilizers, I guess. So again, we're just going for this horizontal drift or sinking action to it. Gives you that like dying bait fish or dying something action that draws those fish in. Uh, now they do have the exact same thing as the depths does up top here where we can expose that hook. Um, different scent, slightly different look, about the same size. Obviously at iCast this year, there's a lot of controversy about copy baits, but if we look at these side by side, there we go. You tell me what you think is happening here. You describe Spro depths. Uh, Spro did add the eyes and they added the fins. The rest of the body looks extremely similar and we even have the exact same hook keeping placement. Interesting nonetheless, you tell me what you think in the comments. Ultimately, if we're catching fish, I'd be happy. Check this out. Uh, this is actually a green pumpkin with a whole bunch of gold flake that is kind of sort of not really showing up in the camera. Eh, a little bit of flash there. You can kind of see it. Again, a four pack though, Spro? A four pack? They need to pack more of these. Like this needs to be at least a six. When I saw that the depths and the fish arrow were only six, I was like, eh, it's not ideal. I kind of wish there were more in here. However, then I got the Spro and it's a four pack. That is not going far. So let's go to an odd number. Uh, we got the G-Crack here in a seven pack. 
Seven? But look at these babies. First of all, they come on a tray. Second of all, Fritos. Is it Doritos nacho cheesier flavor or Fritos? Oh, you know what it is? I just figured it out. You guys, if you have G-Crack plastics, go smell them right now. And then go smell a bag of Bugles. Bugles corn chips. That's what this is. It's Bugles corn chips. I got it. I nailed it. I figured, I saw the mystery. So these are called the IMO Rippers or the IMO Ripper. Look at that. And you come with this little tiny tickle tail. What is that? <laughs> uh, so again, heavy, heavy stick bait. This one feels maybe the most dense out of all of these. Like this thing is dense. This thing is thick. It's built different. This thing's insane. So again, rigging through the top, text bows this baby. Uh, this is just a very regular pattern, right? Kind of just a, a smooth stick bait here. Very thick with a little tickle tail, which is, you know, kind of a cool innovation to this type of product. Something that makes it different and stand out. And it comes with that G-Crack scent baby. So I don't know, maybe it'll work really well. These babies came in at that sale price of $8.07 for seven of them. Putting it very close to a dollar, a plastic, putting it on the lower end of the cost of all the poop baits. There we go. It's the IMO Ripper, 95, 95 millimeters, 3.8 inches. So this is Technically, with the addition of the tickle tail is the only reason. This is technically the biggest one out of all of the turds, out of all the poop baits. This is the biggest one. 3.6 being the second biggest from heavy poop here. The rest in a 3.5 inch pattern. So let's show you the Missile Baits Bomba. Here's what that one looks like. Come on, me from the future, step on in, buddy. All right, you guys, it finally came. This was the last of the gravity heavy poop baits to make it to the house. Uh, this is the Missile Baits Bomba 3.5 inch. So we finally got it. Uh, just released. It wasn't really supposed to drop, I don't think, till like October 5th. Luckily, Tackle Warehouse usually gets these things ahead of time. And we were able to get it in our hands. Now, unfortunately, I've already gone out at this point and fished all of these baits with Paul. You guys will be seeing that video pretty soon. And we're just going to have to go fish this separately on a different lake. And hopefully it works as well. Spoiler alert, as all those other baits did. You guys will see. Just again, go watch the video. Trust me. It was epic but these are pretty rad and i'll tell you why now you only get six in a bag and they feel about as durable as the rest they do have a nice scent to them so i think it's a little bit of anise maybe yeah kind of it smells like that doesn't say anywhere on here but it's got a scent to it which is cool but what's really cool about these is the price point so this is going to look almost exactly like the depths cover scat not much different really cool color that we picked out super bug the black and blue up top, green pumpkin on bottom, which I think is going to be a good stained water color. And that is the water that I'm going to be fishing this weekend, in fact, tomorrow. Now, what is cool about these is that I got this for under $5. Now, that was when it was 15% off, but we're still talking under a dollar a bait now. That makes this most likely the least expensive gravity bait that you guys can go out there and pick up. Now, is it almost a direct knockoff of the depths? Yeah, uh, I'm sure missile baits will say like we did this, that, and the other thing to it. But ultimately, it's yeah, like exactly the same shape and everything. They added little tiny eyes here, which is gonna do nothing for us. Uh, the, the one thing I miss from the depths, which would be nice, is that little knob that they have on the back of them for exposing your hooks. Now, Missile Baits doesn't have that. They have sort of this ridge design up on top, but all around, I'm saying this is a solid economic value. If you guys wanna save money, you wanna get into it, I mean, this is gonna just be a great option. It just is. So quantity is six. These are all the 3.5 inches of the Bomba. I had that one I just showed you. I had it rigged uh, with a 3 aught hook. You can get away with it. 4 aught is generally what you're grabbing for these. And then if you get the upside version of all these different baits, you might go a 4 or a 5 aught even. So these are pretty sick price-wise, big value. I'm excited to go test these out. So there you have it, nerds. We went through a whole bunch of different heavy gravity poop baits uh, that I am excited to actually try out. These are baits... We got a tournament coming up in November for the Knucklehead Bass Series. I'm taking these with me because I'm going to find cover. I'm going to find just nasty sections and I'm just going to bomb this in there weightless. It's kind of like 
a, a punch bait that's totally weedless, plastic with no skirt. People have been flipping Texas rigs, punch baits, and plastics of all sorts of shapes and sizes into cover for years and years and years forever. This is just a different way of doing it, and it gets you down through some of that heavier matted cover a little bit easier, and it gives you that really nice horizontal fall of that dying bait fish. So I'm interested. I'm excited. I'm going to try them out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you're using these, if you have used these. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you think it's gimmicky? Let me have it, right? Let me know what you guys are feeling about these things in the comments. We appreciate you very much for watching the video. And as always, if you like the content, subscribe. You'll see more of this and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you.